Ooh, what's up everyone? Evolution Pollution here. I'm Devin and today we're opening up the Silver Tempest Elite Trainer Box. Ooh, look, it's so beautiful and I love Alolan Vulpix. So we're gonna hold off in a second there. We'll keep you right back there, Vulpix. Well, we gotta show off something that we just did. We went to the Paldea Evolve, which just released as of recording this video uh, for retail. We went to the pre-release for it. So, uh, I wanted to show off some cards we got. This little promo that's in the build and battles, which is fun. Yeah, and then I just got, um, this is all the cards that, you know, I need for my set. So, I'm just gonna go through a couple of them quick. Our big hits of the day were the Quack of All EX. Very nice. You can kind of see the other one poking out a little bit. Um, and then we got a lovely Sloking EX. Terror typed, which is awesome. And then yeah, we just got a bunch of other, all oh, these little uh, commons, uncommons, a couple rares and all that. Um, yeah, so that's what we got there. And then we also, I traded in the Charizard GX I had. Um, they didn't, this didn't cover the whole thing, don't get me wrong, but um, I was able to get a little bit of credit towards these two beauties. Oh, the Flareon V and Flareon V Max Alt Arts. There were promos that were in the big boxes that I unfortunately never got my hands on. But that's okay. I'm going to have to just slowly get uh, these cards myself. Um, yeah. So that's my new card before we get into this. Open. I don't know when I'll get those other cards, but we'll see. I eventually get the other alt arts. Um, Jolteon's gone down a lot in price. I know it's just kind of weird when I said Jolteon. Um, and by Vaporeons, I think because Vaporeon is beautiful and the water art makes it going to uh, retain some value for some time. Anyways, we got this little binder as most people know about. Um, also, what most people know about is this one card in the set that everyone seems to want. Um, that card goes by the nice little name of Lugia V. Ta da! Um, yeah, that card's. I actually don't know where it's at right now. It could be hovering around like 120, 180. But I've seen it go for 300 at some point. So th those points were recent. Anyway, so with our early trainer boxes, we always look at the artworks underneath. We got Lugia, Reggie Lucky, Reggie Drago, and Alolan Vulpix, our star. I love, love this case and everything. Oh, even this has crystals. Ah, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I don't do much in the Pokemon TCG online, so have some sleeves if you would like. Yeah, the new one's coming out, the new Pokemon TCG Live. Um, I think the app just officially released. There was like a beta for it for a while. Um, I know there's still a lot of bugs, but apparently it's not too shabby. Alright, we got these beautiful Vulpix sleeves that I really love, and we'll probably bring it to my next pre-release. Got these dividers, burn and poison markers, V-star marker, and these lovely dice and damage counters. But we'll take out our packs and we'll put everything back in for now. See any little jump cuts? You have to excuse that because my camera, my cam, is my, yeah, my front face cam is being a little funky. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into this. Got Lugia to start. Um, Alolan Vulpix. I don't know why I love Alolan Vulpix so much, but um, I just think ever since it came out, it's been like my favorite regional form. Um, I just think it's so cute and gave Vulpix Ninetales some much deserved love. And then became super popular with the, um, being the only regional form that's found in His Hisui. That's not actually part of, um, the, the region itself, which is really interesting. <gasps> Floof! We love Floof! Floof's in this set. I love Floof. Um, yeah. Anyway, we got a Durant to start off. Ooh, and Rapidash Hollow. 
a Silver Tempest is also a very snowy face set, which I also love. Um, I'm biased because I uh, absolutely loved the Plasma Freeze set, which came out black and white era, so it was a while ago. Can't tell you when, but it came out a while ago. Um, probably closer to Texas and I was 2013, probably closer to like 2011, somewhere around there. Anyways, let's see what we got here. And Plasma Freeze featured a lot of snowy art. Uh, this one has a decent amount. Chilling Rain obviously had the most of the entire um, Sword and Shield era, but still has some nice ones like Alolan Vulpix and others. Anyways, nine is our regular rare, and we are two packs down. It's one hollow. Flipped. Here we go. Uh, and this will get flipped. Here we go. We got a Whalmer. Let's just start off. We got a Dratini. Phoebus. Oh, we can get two Phoebus in one pack here. That's an old school reference to the Poke Capitals channel. I used to say it uh, a while when I was first like, making videos. Um, right, we got a. Oh, a Stunted V here. Very nice. But I used to say it's with Flash Fire. Now that's an old set. And I think Primal Clash as well. That one um, had Phoebus, I think, because that was a Hoenn based set. Outside of that, Phoebus hasn't been around for a while. It's been too much. Oh, we got another Gatini to do, start this one. Uh, yeah, as for talking about Paldea Evolved, I want to talk a little bit more about that as I open up some of these lovely artworks, like that Sui art there. Um, I did pretty decently well in my pre-release format. I was up in New Hampshire this time with Nick and my brother, and I did pretty good. I went two and one out of the three games, so two and one. Um, I lost because some someone else I got really bad first hand and then just like lost that last game but it doesn't really matter because it's not actually like for anything you get the everyone gets the three prizes at the end there's no tournament style like tiering or anything but I did have the Bex Caliber line um, I, did, I got the thing it didn't promo but I used the Bex Caliber that was my main uh, gimmick for my deck that I used I worked out pretty good I was able to set up. Ah! Whoa, whoa, hold up. We got a superior V Star. Ho, ho, ho. Very nice. Very nice. And that was also a Metagross reverse hollow rare. Yeah, back to Caliber. Um, did me good. That, I got Tinkerton up pretty quickly. Uh, other than that, it wasn't super hard to do. I didn't have a lot of special energy, which if you played the pre-release format, you would know you need a lot of. Um, but I only had the one that was given in the pre-release deck. Um, so they're pretty good though. I was happy. Uh, my brother and Nick did not do as well, but um, I know my brother, he did, he like won at least one game. He, he's usually good for getting pulls and he actually surprisingly didn't get too many. I was the only one who got some big pulls of the, the day. Uh, which even then was comprised of two uh, EXs. Anyways, we've got two packs left here. And we got two hits and a hollow. Not too shabby. According to Dariums, which I watch pretty frequently. Um, I haven't watched, been watching too much. I've been doing a lot of Twitch streams, so don't tune into those as often. But. Uh, what he would say for ETBs here, it's about two and a half hits on average, and we're at two. So hopefully we can get one more. There's so many cards from Silver Tempest. It's what, 195 without including secret rares, so quite the big set here. Um, let's see, we got a Golbat, we got a Lantern. Ooh, and a Forest Seal Stone. This one I think is actually... 
pretty decent. I was gonna say that's like supposed to be like a really good one. There's, uh, there's two of them, there's Forest and Sky. Could be one more, I forget, but I think those those two. Maybe Crown Zenith has one. But so if you, your V doesn't have, or you have a V star or V max that doesn't actually have a V star power and you wanna use a V star power because everyone has the right to in a, in a deck, you can attach one of these items, which this one, during your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So if anyone remembers Computer Search, uh, that, that was a, an original bait, like base set card that was really good. Uh, it became an ace spec in the black and white era, but yeah, you just like search your deck for a card. Um, I think the other the Computer Search, you had to discard this one you don't, but you can only use one of these V-Stars in a game. So it's kind of important that you use it wisely, but it's a very good card. Anyways, we've got a Frost Lass and an Among Us to end things off. So we got two Hollows and we got a V and a V Star for today's Elite Trainer Box. Anyways, thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll catch you next time. Maybe for some Crown Zenith. Oh, maybe. Anyways, peace.